So we go to Las Vegas once or twice a year. We've been doing this for 14 years now. And we've got to do the tourist thing. And one of the, the attractions that's out there is the Hoover Dam and Lake Mead. Now, if you've been to Vegas before, but you haven't been out to the Hoover Dam, or you've never been to Las Vegas, I recommend you go. It's something to see. The Hoover Dam is big. It's famous. It's been in movies. It's something to see. You can just walk around or you can take the tour. If you're lucky, you can find free parking, but otherwise there's a parking structure where you have to pay. Tours cost money and there are two different tours, a short tour and a long tour. There's usually a longer wait to get on the long tour, but if you just wanna go there and park and walk around and take pictures, it doesn't cost anything. You just have to go through a security checkpoint. I recommend that if you bring your own vehicle or you rent a vehicle that you drive out there yourself, don't take the tour bus and get stuck with the tours. Get out there early because it does get crowder, crowded the later in the day it gets. And just have a good time. It's something to do, something to see. So this year at SHOT Show, uh, Sarge from C4 Defense went out to Las Vegas for the first time, went to SHOT Show for the first time, went west of the Mississippi River for the first time. And while he was out there, he went to the Hoover Dam and he went live while he was there. And I was wondering, why wasn't he going over to the edge and looking over the edge? And, uh, and maybe he just was kind of uncomfortable with it. According to Wikipedia, the height of the Hoover Dam is 726.4 feet. So maybe that's why. It's a steep drop-off. There are no rails or fencing or anything like that to keep somebody from jumping over the edge. It, you, even though the sidewalks are kind of narrow and it does get a little crowded, I don't... I haven't seen anybody get bumped. I've never been bumped in a way that I thought I was going to get knocked over, but uh, it could make somebody a little bit nervous. So I thought, since I go out there and I do this sort of thing all the time, I would take pictures and video from our trip this year and some previous trips and throw it together and just give somebody an idea of what they'd see if they go to the Hoover Dam and show Sarge what he missed by not looking over the front. First, you go through a security checkpoint. They just look in your car, maybe ask you a few questions, that sort of thing. I've never been pulled over and had the car torn apart, but they do have the capability to do that. And it was a hot day and they were out there wearing their long sleeves and all their gear and they were sweating. It's a bit of a long video, but it is a bit of a big structure, so bear with me. you're driving across the dam there's a lot of pedestrians they're tourists they're looking around they haven't ever seen this before they're not paying attention it's really easy for one of them to just jump out in front of you so be careful It's a bit of a long and winding road to go across the dam and to the other side. There's parking lots along the way, but a lot of them were full. When we got up to the top, there was plenty of parking. You take a winding road and you end up driving underneath the Mike O'Callaghan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge and right onto the top of the dam. You can either make a left and go into the paid parking or you can follow it across the dam and there are free parking uh, spots as you go further to the other side uh, and get all the way to the top on the other side on the Arizona side on the mountain standard time side and there's a machine gun nest up there, up at the top, and it's one of it's the only remaining one that was uh, put in place in World War II to protect the dam because they were afraid of German sabotage during the war. Now I had seen the nest before, but I'd never gone all the way up to the top on that side. So when we got up there, I was disappointed to see that it was that close. It was within walking distance, but there were signs all around saying you couldn't go up there, and I'm not about to get arrested by the National Park Service. That wouldn't that wouldn't go over so well. So you can get close enough to see it, but that's about it. They don't even offer tours. So here's a view from the Arizona side. 
And here's the view from the Nevada side. We're on top of the parking structure. After you come down from the parking structure, if you park on that side and go down the elevator and the escalator and the stairs and all that and get down onto uh, the top of the dam, you'll pass by a gift shop. And on your way towards uh, where they have the tours or to just walk across the top of the dam, you're going to pass the only gravesite that's on the dam itself and that is their mascot they had a dog that was their mascot and unfortunately during the construction of the dam somebody ran over it with a truck so here's the lake mead side the back side you can see the rock is bleached white from where the water's been that high and it's receded the water level goes up and down with the lake it's been more low than high lately those concrete towers you see are the intake towers that pull the water in to run through the dam and through the hydroelectric generating station. And here's your access road on top of the dam. You'll see all kinds of vehicles, campers, tour buses, everything. There's a sidewalk on either side and it's a little bit narrow. Here is the lake again and there's straight down. It's not really that far to the water on the back side. And now the part you've all been waiting for. Here is the front side of the dam from the Nevada side. You can just lean right over the edge and take picture and video. You can see it's pretty steep, but it, it didn't make me dizzy uh, like when looking straight up at something. Like if you've ever leaned against a lighthouse and looked straight up, it, it can kind of make you a little bit dizzy. Looking down didn't make me dizzy at all. And here you can see the power generating station and the Colorado River and the US-11 bypass bridge. Up there is a walkway where you can actually look down onto the face of the dam, but that's in another video. And there you have it. Just a short, well maybe not so short, video on visiting the Hoover Dam and just an idea of what it looks like to look down over the front edge. Keep an eye open for my next video on the Mike O'Callaghan-Pat Tillman Bridge, and thank you for watching.